question 12 from the 2019 Higher Physics SQ exam section 2. A student sets up the circuit shown below. And you can see the circuit there. When switch S is open, the reading on the voltmeter is 1.5 volts. Switch S is now closed and the reading on the voltmeter is now 1.3 volts and the reading on the ammeter is 0 0.88 amps. Now for one mark, and it's just one mark only, we have to state the EMF E of the cell. Not explain it, just state it. And you have to know this leading comment. The EMF of the cell is the potential difference across the terminals when no current is taken from the cell. So when switch S is open, in this case, there is no current taken from the cell. So the reading on the voltmeter across the terminals of the battery will indicate to you the EMF of the cell. So in this case, we can see that it's definitely got to be 1.5 volts. So for one mark, you'd get 1.5 volts. You would get one mark for that. Question 12, part A2. Calculate the internal resistance R of the cell. Now we're given that information at the start of the question. When switch S is open, the reading on the voltmeter is 1.5 volts. That's the EMF of the cell. The switch is now closed and the reading on the voltmeter is now 1.3 volts. And the reading on the ammeter is 0 0.88 amps. And we have to calculate that internal resistance. Now, like all of these problems, what I do is I try to put labels on all the key components. So, for example, the internal resistor over here, I'll put down the three things you need to know. We need to know the V, voltage, the potential difference across the internal resistance, which is the loss volts. We need to know the current going through it. And we need to know the value of resistance. That's what the question is asking. So we need to know these three things here. Now, the other component is this resistor here, and we do the same thing here. We have V, and we have I, and we have R. And that's our labels we have made up. Now, let's fill it in. Let's go through the whole circuit as though it's like a Sudoku puzzle, filling in as much as we know. We know when the switch is closed, the reading in the voltmeter reads 1.3 volts. Now, that will be the exact reading across the external resistor, 1.3 volts. So we know that there must be some potential difference lost, and it's lost in the internal resistor. So therefore, the voltage up here will be 0 0.2 volts, because 0 0.2 volts in the internal resistance plus 1.3 volts in the external resistor should give you the same value as the EMF, which is 1.5 volts. Now, do we know anything else? Well, we know that the current going on the circuit is 0 0.88 amps, and that will be the same current going through the external resistor as well, 0 0.8 amps. So we've got plenty of information. We can calculate the value for R, big R, and we can calculate the value for small r, the internal resistance of the cell. And that's what we're asked to find, the internal resistance of the cell. So looking at our data, we know that uh, we can write down R is going to equal to V divided by I. And we know that the potential difference across the internal resistor is the lost volts, which is 0 0.2 of a volt divided by 0 0.88 of an amp. And when we do that on our calculator, we get 0 0.23 ohms. So we've now successfully worked out for three marks the internal resistance of that resistor, just by following the little labels around the circuit. Question 12a, part 3. Explain why the reading on the voltmeter decreases when the switch is closed. Well, when the switch is open, the voltmeter is just really reading the EMF of the cell E. And you can think of that as the voltmeter is going to read the EMF of the cell E. But when the switch is closed, then a current starts to flow around the circuit. And that current might have the value I. And when that happens, a current passing through the internal resistance of that cell will cause a potential drop across the cell to the value of IR. Effectively, you're losing energy when the current goes through that resistor. So therefore, you're going to get less energy per coulomb out uh, once the current is flowing. Because when we look at the equation here, we have got the voltmeter reading V is going to equal to the EMF of the cell minus the dropped voltage IR. And therefore, that will be 
come up as a reduction in the reading on the voltmeter. Question 12, part B. A battery of EMF 9 volts and internal resistance 1.2 ohms is connected in series with a lamp. The lamp has a resistance of 2.4 ohms. And for three marks, we have to determine the current in the lamp. Well, we know the current when it switches on. The current will flow down a circuit like that. It's a series circuit. And you can see the two resistance values in that circuit are 2.4 ohms and 1.2 ohms. So we can know right away that the total resistance in a circuit is really equal to 1.2 ohms plus 2.4 ohms which is going to give us a total of 3.6 ohms altogether. That's going to be the total resistance. Now, the EMF of the circuit is 9.0 volts. So if we can work out the current flowing in the circuit, that's really equal to the EMF value, which we can put down as E, divided by the total resistance of the circuit. So that's going to equal to 9 volts, divided by 3.6 ohms, and we do that on our calculator, the current flowing in that circuit will be 2.5 amps. And that's your three marks. Question 12, part B2. It says, calculate the power dissipated in the lamp. Dissipated is another word for lost in the lamp. So we go to the lamp and we put down our list V, I and R. We don't know the voltage potential difference across the lamp at the moment, but we know the current flowing through it from a previous question is 2.5 amps, and we know the value of the resistance is 2.4 ohms. Now, therefore, we can go ahead and work out the potential difference across the lamp, but we're asked to find the power dissipated. So, what are the power equations then? Well, the power equations are P equals VI, which we can easily work out because we've got I, R, we can find V, and we can just do multiply by the current again. And we also know that P equals V squared divided by R. Once again, we'd have to find V again. And the third power equation is P equals I squared R. Well, look, we have got the current and we have got the resistance, so we can just plug in and get what the power dissipated in the lamp is just by plugging in those numbers. So power equals I squared, which is going to give you 2.5 squared, multiplied by the resistance, 2.4, and it works out that the power is going to be equal to 15, and the units of power, remember, are the watts. So that's our answer for part 12.2.